Hello everyone and welcome to Mad Platter. I'm going to give you a tour of my cabin. All right, so I'll walk you around the outside. Um, first off, I've never had any experience building anything like this. So if you're interested in, in building a cabin on your own, I would say just go for it. That's what I did. A lot of research online um, to, to do certain types of things. And uh, it turned out pretty good. It's a little bit crooked here and there, but eh, it's dry and warm. And it's a nice little place. So I built the cabin in 2018 uh, and then it took a couple summers, just weekends here and there to get the interior finished up and also um, I added the deck and finally got the stove installed, which is uh, it's definitely the best part of the cabin. Um, so this cabin is based off of a design by Deke Diedrichsen, he's from relaxshacks.com. Um, he was the original designer of I think he called it a transforming A-frame, which was a little 8x10 cabin with a flip, flip open roof section, which is what this has. So you can see that main little section is 8x10, um, and, and I added on to, to that design. And on each end of the cabin I have a 4 foot dormer or pop out. Um, the main reason why I did that is I wanted to have a wood stove inside the cabin, and with such a small cabin, um, if I would had a door on the on the front of the A there, there really wouldn't have been any room to put a wood stove on the inside. So that's why I have the door on the side, um, and it fits the wood stove, and it's it's close, but it meets all the requirements, all the heat shield requirements and distances, and it's safe. So that's why, again, that's why the door's on the side there. The cabin is all built on deck blocks which is then on top of a, a gravel pad but I didn't do do cement piers I just I was anxious to get started and that's what I went with and it's it's pretty solid I don't expect it will ever shift or anything so the chimney and the stove is from tiny wood stoves they build tiny home stoves uh, they build several different sizes they offer all of the chimney components you need to get up and running and this thing has worked out great for me it keeps the cabin nice and toasty inside actually too warm if it's if it's 50 or 60 degrees you really can't build a, <laughs> a fire inside because it gets so toasty
so that section there of the roof that flips open is, is eight foot wide so that's and it's ten the cabin's ten foot deep from this view so um, that little section is eight by ten and then like I said each end on the side is, is an additional four feet and this back four foot pop out here I originally planned on putting a bathroom in there a uh, small just a little small bathroom with a toilet and a sink it's really not room for a shower but I think at this point I decided that I'm just going to use that for either just storage or maybe like a little breakfast nook and then I'm going to build I think I'm gonna build a separate bathhouse with a shower toilet sink and then maybe even an outside sink for doing dishes like a deep sink the deck runs all the way around the, the front and the side as you can see it's about I think it's 15 in the front by about 20 foot um, on this side here but it's been great when you uh, when you flip the roof open you can just walk right out from the cabin out onto the deck for morning coffee um, just to relax it's, it's really nice I'm really glad I put the big deck on So this door I built from scratch. I don't know why. I probably should have just bought a door. But I think it looks pretty cool. Again, the windows I built from scratch. Just because I didn't think store-bought windows would look right on it. <laughs> Here's the view from the deck. Nothing really special on this side, but there's the roof. Looks kind of funny from this view. Looks like a half of a cabin. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty much it for the outside. Uh, I'll head on in and I will open up the roof and I'll be back here in a few. So there's the cabin with the roof open. That's Bruce the Moose. Talk more about Bruce here in a little bit.
course the wood stove. Pretty small inside. I got a little cottage bed, chair to relax and read. I even got a little kitchen table that flips down to make more room. So the wood stove is from Tiny Wood Stove. Uh, it's perfect for a small cabin. Um, it's a tight fit, but I meet all the safety requirements. I built a heat shield behind the stove there, which meets the safety requirements. And even under the, the floor there, um, I have a heat shield built under the stove that meets all the requirements. So it's very safe and it keeps the cabin very toasty. I love this thing. And you already saw the chimney runs up on the outside. One reason is not much room in here. Plus I didn't want to try to cut a hole in that roof at that steep angle. And I thought it would be much easier um, to just go do the wall exit. And it's worked out well. It draws pretty good. I don't have any smoke. Uh, coming back in the cabin at all. I haven't had any issues. This is the only shelf I have in the cabin. That's why it's cluttered with cabin decor. I need to build another shelf or two. So this is Bruce the Moose. He's a paint by number from, I believe, uh, the early 60s, 1963-ish maybe, but uh, maybe someday I'll do a video on paint by numbers, but I've collected them for I don't even know how many years. Probably at least 20 plus years I've collected and painted paint by numbers. Um, you'll see a lot of them in the cabin that I've painted, but uh, Bruce was a fun project. I projected, well first I scanned in the, the pattern and um, I projected the pattern on that's birch plywood, sanded birch plywood. So I projected the pattern and traced it um, before I actually hung, hung it up because I don't think I would have been able to project and trace on the angled uh, roof there. But So I traced it and then I hung there are three, actually three sections of 4x8 plywood. I think one of them I had to cut a little bit, uh, a few inches off, but it's pretty much eight foot tall by 12 foot wide. So I, I think Bruce is life size. Um, my mom once told me before she passed away that he looks very muscular. <laughs> and I didn't think so before, but now I, I can't unsee all his muscles after she said that. And I've actually had a couple people tell me he looks very buff. <laughs> but yeah that's Bruce he actually could use a second coat of paint but um, that took me I don't even know how many hours probably at least 50 hours to paint him so someday maybe I'll do a second coat but for now that'll do this is a cottage bed and the main reason I went with these is one they're they're pretty small and two they sit up off the ground I think 16 or 17 inches so there's a decent amount of storage uh, underneath underneath the bed there and I have two of these I mainly just leave one up and then when I have have guests I'll put the second one up which makes for a very tight fit but it works out that's why I have the fold down kitchen table that will fold down and then then the second bed will fit on this side and I'll show you that here in a few minutes but but yeah it works out real well
pretty comfortable. The bed came with a foam mattress, a foam top mattress, and then I also put a, uh, a feather bed. I think they call like a feather top on top of the mattress. But. So between those two, it's pretty, it's pretty comfortable. And I got a couple totes underneath to store things. And I can also, when I bring a duffel bag of clothes, I can I can just slide it on the, under the bed there. So that's my kitchen table, dining room table, kitchen nook, whatever you want to call it. But that table flips down. I think I got that at Ikea. Uh, so it flips down if I need more room. I can put another chair out. I actually have um, another one of these chairs that I have folded up. But if I have a visitor, I can, I can fold that down and put up another chair. And it's pretty comfortable. That there's just a little firewood basket that I use to store some wood. A little wood splitter. This thing's awesome. Maybe someday I'll do a video on that, but you've probably seen them, but I love that little wood splitter. My brother bought me that for Christmas a couple years back. So this is the, the back room that I mentioned when we walked around on the outside, but again, that's another door I built from scratch mainly because you really can't buy a door that's 21 and 3 eighths inches wide. <laughs> so I had to build one to fit and it turned out pretty good. Uh, lots of different colors in here, but it looks all right, I think. And this is the room I mentioned I was originally going to put a, a toilet and a sink in here to have a little tiny bathroom but uh, I think I'm just as you can see now I have a little mini fridge in there and I just store all the extra bedding and the extra extra cottage bed I store in there um, so for now this is storage and I really need to decide what I want to do but again I think I'm going to leave this as storage or a little kitchen maybe put a little table um, leave us like a kitchen nook and then build a, a separate little bathhouse, shower house. We'll see. I actually have struggled finding a contractor to install. There's actually water and sewage here where I'm at because I'm pretty close to a paved road. Um, but I've, I've struggled finding a contractor to actually do the work. So it's one reason I haven't done it. And in that time I've decided maybe not to even put a bathroom in here. So anyways, yeah, so maybe you'll see this in a future uh, video. I'll do a little project and show me finishing this room here. All right, so I think I showed you everything on the inside. Um, I'll close up the hatch here and I'll fold up the furniture, fold down the table, and I'll throw up that second cot and I'll show you some, some video of that. All right. So I got the roof closed up. I'm gonna head inside, set up the second bed, and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so you can see I got the second bed set up. A um, little bit tight, but there's enough room to move around. It's definitely snug when there's two people here mainly because where do you where do you put everything um but i have all the chairs are, are tucked under the beds um and i got a bunch of stuff stored in the uh the back room there but it works it's cozy a little bit tight but this is really just to show you that this is there's only an eight by ten section right here and you can comfortably fit two beds in there with room to spare enough room for uh, the dog's bed um, yeah there's the kitchen table I talked about folding down you can see there's there's plenty of room for the bed the second bed here to fit so 
and they're cot size I think 30 inches wide by uh, I believe 75 inches long it actually started raining so it was a perfect time to close up the roof okay everyone that's a wrap on the cabin tour and my first YouTube video it wasn't too bad Anyways, I hope you liked the cabin. I hope you enjoyed the little walk around. Uh, fall's coming up here in about another week or so, so we'll be up pretty much every weekend at this point. So hoping to make some more videos here coming up. And uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you made it this far, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.